Welcome to the Terminus Dominion Insight on Warframe. This is an update from the first video. Uh, today, this video is going to help you get an insight on what this clan is about. Um, I'm going to be giving some questions out to these two, Alfonso and Governor Tidal Wave. Uh, Alfonso, you first. Please tell me something about you. Introduce yourself. My name is Alfonso, and people who would know me a lot know that they can call me Chinchilla, since that is my last name. All right. Governor Tidal Wave, what about you? All right. My name's Tidal Wave. Uh, most close friends call me either Johnny or, or Waffle or Tide, whatever works for anyone. Yeah, and that's basically it. Alright, thank you for uh, having the time to do this interview with me. Now, for Alfonso, this question goes towards you. So, what do you do specifically here in Warframe? Specifically, I try to help the new players learn this game to have more fun in it and to not make some mistakes that um, new players usually make. And what do new players usually make as a, a as a problem? Or from what I've seen, new players tend to buy stuff with the fifty plat they are given that they do not need. I would like to tell them that buy uh, warframe slots and weapon slots. New players also tend to avoid elemental combos such as electricity and toxin creating corrosive. Uh huh. Anything else? Uh, anything you'd like to add, government? Oh, pr um, practicality on, like, what items are in the game are, are usually a, pro a, like, a problem. Like, what's an Arokin catalyst or what's a reactor? People don't know how useful those things are. I tell them, if you're going to do anything with your Platinum, buy one of those. They will help your Warframe tremendously. They double the mod capacity, so you can make your Warframe a lot better than it already is. Oh, all right, that's good information. So for this question, this one's directly towards Governor Tidal Wave. How does your ranking system work in Warframe? Our ranking structure is based off the Roman ranking structure. It goes from Warrior to Acolyte to Decurion to Minor, then Major, and the highest being Centurion. I see. And this question is again for you, Tidal Wave. How is the ranking how is the ranking different from the rest? Well, uh, if if you are a warrior or an acolyte, you're mostly gonna be seen in groups of four with a, one Decurion. A Decurion is in charge of about I wanna say five to ten people. Centurions are in charge of about a hundred members. All right. So with too? me, I have Senator Dreadwing and Senator Master Tridon. Um, I have a question for the both of you. Every clan on Warframe, they say that they are special in some way. What makes this clan so special that goes against everyone else? Well, the main thing I would have to say is going to be the ranking church. You know, uh, when you go into a clan, there's always these clans where, like, we are a dark sector clan with over 273 members and a fully researched laboratory. Well, the difference between us is, yeah, every clan can have those. That's a common thing to have in a game, and you know, when a game's been out for this long, yeah, that's going to be a guarantee. It's nothing special anymore. <clears throat> but what makes the difference is the experience with the people, you know, the ranking structure that goes into it. You know, most of those clans, they have an inner circle of the leaders and possibly their generals who lead their members. But 
you'll never move up in a rank because most of them don't want change. They want to keep it to where they only focus on numbers. They just want a number count to where they can say eventually that, well, we have 375 people. Now we have 475 people. Now we have 500, you know? And that's all they want is numbers. The difference between here is, yeah, we have a lot of people. I think it's roughly around 175 to 275 in that range. But most of them are active, and it's the experience you have with the players. You know, the good times, you know, the grind. It's going to be difficult, but you don't want to be stuck in a grind with a group of people who don't really care to talk much. They just want the, They just want people who want to help them, and all they want is the parts. But you're going to be stuck in there doing these missions without talking, really. You're just going to be like, well, um, hey, guys, how's it going? And it's going to be really awkward because they're just there for the tools, the you know, getting the warframes, getting the weapons, the resources. They don't care about the conversation. They don't care about the actual connection between other people, you know, the communication. They don't care, you know. Also, we have a ranking structure, you know, if you really wanted to. You could join, you could be a member, and you could just stay, you know, join for the perks, you know, we have the laboratory, we have the people, but we also have people who are always going around helping. Like I said, if you wanted to join and just stay a member, you could do that, or you could move up in the ranking structure. You could become a different rank, and you could talk about all the other, you know, ranks that are in our community. We have people who will explain that to you and everything like that. You know, I'm not trying to explain it to you here right now, but if you joined, people would explain this to you, or if you just wanted to know... You know, there's going to be names in the description saying of people who can explain to you the ranking structure before you join or if you want to. But back to my point is, you know, the difference between these other clans is, you know, we have people who like to help. It's a team-based game. And without people who don't want to help and, you know, if you don't have that, it's just another one of those dark sector clans or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves, you know. They just want to do whatever they want and they have their inner circle and the top people get what they want, but the lower people usually get the shit under the stick. You know, and here, we have people, I remember, when I first joined, we have people here who, I first joined, I wanted this Rhino Prime that I'm wearing right now. I was like, I really want it, I want it bad. There were members going around, just regular members, and higher rankers, just like, hey, you know, before I sell this part, or these parts for these Warframes, they always ask the members if they want them first before they sell them. You know, if you don't need it, I wouldn't say they'd give it to you. But if you really wanted it, you know, if you, like, you really want it, you're like, okay, I want Rhino Prime. Or I want Frost Prime. You know, something like that when it was available. They'd be like, yeah, you know, I have an extra helmet or something, you know. Here. And they wouldn't charge you. Because that's what a team-based thing is, you know. Work together as a group. Because what's the difference between having, you know, say... Matt's to try it on here, he's like, oh, I have a spare Rhino Prime set, I'm probably going to sell it, but then there's a member who's been running with us, like, on missions, but has just been using the regular Excalibur. I mean, he's been getting things, but he hasn't gotten any full sets. Matt's to try it on, will be like, well, I have an extra set, man. Here's it for free, build it, and then you can run some higher level missions with us. You know, you won't find that in any other clans. You know, the generosity, the people who, like, just the community in general is positive, you know, and... Like I said, you can work up the ranking structure, get higher ranks and things like that. You know, you get what I'm saying? That would, that's what I would say would be the main difference is the community, the people, the generosity, and the ranking structure.